Hello dear friends, welcome again to the daily current affairs session of 24th April 2018 and uh, this is brought to you by new IAS. So, we will be having some climate as well as some other topics. So, South Asian Climate Outlook Forum, World Earth Day, Pangong So Lake, Globefish and Swachadon 1.0. So, I hope uh, all this is related to environment, everything is related to environment. Anyways, let us have a look. South Asian Climate Outlook Forum is a forum of South, East, South Asian nation. Uh, where uh, it is actually a climatic forum where actions will be where uh, many things will be discussed related to the actions to be taken during different seasonal variations for example this is in news because uh, once uh, this imd uh, i mean indian meteorological department they will be giving a statement or they will be uh, issuing something a uh, set of guidelines to all the southeast uh, south asian nations uh, once the onset of monsoon begins in Kerala. So, Kerala is a place or state where the onset of monsoon will be declared like June 1st will be declared as the onset of monsoon. So, that starts from Kerala. So, that is why once that will happen, once the monsoon is onset, then the IMD will give statements to all the South, East, uh, South Asian nations uh, how to be prepared for the, uh, you know, the coming monsoon season. So, this is a forum which prepare the seasonal climate information which help to prepare the national level outlooks so various countries now except afghanistan now we have our indian co continent as uh, south asian nations excluding china so almost all the nations except afghanistan are having similar monsoonal climate right so almost india nepal pakistan also uh, fairly pakistan also comes in this bangladesh myanmar then thailand then uh, the sri lanka so all those countries including bhutan also have similar kind of monsoon climate where uh, June, July, September will be rainy seasons and uh, again October that retreating monsoon will be affecting there. Again there will be one more monsoon uh, in October now. So, all those similar conditions are there, similar vegetations are there. So, that is why we have set up, uh, you know, all the member nations of SARC plus Myanmar have set up a forum to have this uh, planning in on national level, how to plan for the monsoon. So, uh, the members will be South Asian nations and is supported by the World Meteorological Organization. So, this, this is a statement, key statement, South Asian nations, Myanmar is also there, supported by World Meteorological uh, Organization and from India, IMD will be the representative. Now, uh, other countries also will have their own meteorological department, they will be representing this forum. So, from India, in IMD is going. So, uh, all the South Asian nations uh, ex except Afghanistan experience similar monsoon time climate so that is why but afghanistan is also included in this forum that is the key highlight okay next is about world earth day now world earth day is being uh, celebrated around the world on april 22nd so the theme is end plastic pollution so that is the theme this year unesco conference held in 1969 they had declared or they had observed started observing march 21st 1970 as the world uh, as the first earth day but what happened later, uh, there was a tragedy that took place, uh, there was an oil spill that took place in California, so which led to an uh, Earth Day Foundation in US to celebrate April 22nd annually as the uh, World Earth Day. So later, every country, all the organizations started to observe April 22nd as the uh, World Earth Day. So <coughs> actually, in, uh, in the beginning, UNESCO had declared March 21st, but later, because of this US Earth Foundation, so they started observing on April 22nd. So now, till date, today, this year also, April 22nd and in future also that will be the day. So uh, this year's theme is End Plastic Pollution. It's a very good theme actually. And the ultimate aim to bring such a day, because we have lots of environment days throughout the year. Next slide, I will show some of them. And uh, all those, see, if it is a wetland day, then that will be for the, particularly for the awareness should uh, to be brought in the conservation of wetland, marshy land, lakes and etc. If it is water day, then it will for the conservation of water, safe hygiene uh, uh, you know, practices etc. So, this also has a health, uh, aim, major aim that is healthy to bring changes or to bring, uh, to highlight the environmental issues to make changes which will result in a healthy and sustainable environment. So, that is the main theme or main concept of Earth, Earth Day. So next slide is about some of the days which you, you you have to remember. Any statement can have a judgmental kind of a solution. So February two, starting from the year February two 
is observed observed as world wetland day so that day why because 1971 Ram ramsar convention was signed on that day so february 2 is world wetland day march 22 is world water day so 1993 uh, 1992 rio earth summit we know that it's an umbrella uh, convention so uh, 1992 summit was held and there was an agenda 21 so adoption of that agenda 21 it was proposed that march 22 will be observed as world water day so un general assembly started to observe in 1993 uh, from their own uh, till now march 22 as world water day now every you know the statements related to world water day conservation of water every drop is important all those things april 7 is world health day on that day in 1948 who was born june 5 is world environment day the very famous very popular since school days we know that 1972 stockholm conference was held on that day that is why june 5 were world environment day so relate with that stockholm conference of 1972 you know prior to 1992 there was stockholm conference from where talks began and ultimately after 20 years it culminated into the rio earth summit so 1972 stockholm conference is the predecessor of rio summit rio earth summit okay may 22 international day for biological diversity on this day actually cbd convention on Bio biological diversity was adopted in the un so may 22 is biological diversity day and september 16 is world ozone day that day which which protocol was signed which protocol was signed yes montreal protocol was signed okay montreal protocol which you know uh, which mandates on the uh, release of uh, ozone depleting substances earlier it was cfc then later kigali amendment came kigali amendment told to phase out hfc hfc is another potent um, ozone depleting uh, you know substance so this is the day when montreal protocol was signed so this is uh, just a few few things many are there uh, extra are there which you have to memorize okay so next one is about pangong so lake pangong so lake is in the, the name sounds chinese but this is in ladakh uh, so it is it is shared between india and china actually one third of the portion is in india and under the control of india two third of the portion almost 90 km is with china so china is controlling the two third portion so uh, this is a news because an article came related to the you know the significance of this kind of lakes in ladakh this is a salt lake actually you know why ladakh is having salt lake geography topic research on that fascinating flora and fauna make the region colorful during the summer so ladakh is a very beautiful place it is considered as a cold desert actually part of trans himalayan range it is a northern most area of jammu kashmir 134 km long and it extends from india to china so one third that is 45 km stretch is in control with india rest 90 km is in control with the china so other natural high altitude salt water lakes are sokar and so marari so these lakes locate on the map locate on the map how it is located north to south or east to west or which are the places that come in sequence you should have a good pictorial knowledge next one is about globe fish globe fish is another it is a uh, you know uh, it is an organization which come within the fao food and agriculture organization so globe fish is a unit within the fao of un which gives information or which uh, conducts info, uh, research and gives information and analysis on international fish trade and markets very very weird weird thing right not a weird but it is very in, actually interesting thing we, we know india is towards our blue revolution or the second phase of the blue blue revolution where we need to increase or our aquaculture or this exports of fisheries so uh, anyways so this kind of institutions or organizations organizations as uh, india is concerned as far as india is concerned is very important why because we are really concentrating on the rainbow revolution now rainbow revolution includes blue, blue revolution which is increase in the fish production uh, entire fish production so we need to have what is our plan we india need to have a major contribution to gdp from fisheries that is what uh, now um, at present we don't have that much of contribution it is very marginal so we need to increase our contribution from fisheries towards this gdp so that is why this kind of organizations like globe fish food and agriculture organization there are many other fisheries conventions which we need to study so this is such a thing uh, the news was that the globe fish report says that indian shrimp export rose to 50 42% age to the us market so normally us market used to have export from countries like thailand vietnam 
you know, Ecuador, Indonesia, etc. Now, because of the decline of supplies from these countries, Indonesia, Ecuador, Thailand, and Vietnam, India got the spot and India started to increase their uh, export to US. So now we have this 42 percent increase. Uh, I mean, uh, th that much we 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 reached the 42 percent of the export of uh, this uh, shrimp. So uh, we know uh, it, uh, some of the points that this report told or uh, stated was that. Um, India is one of the largest seafood exporters. It's a very good report. It's very good data that they gave because India it's a, it's a good step ahead as far as our fishery culture is concerned. So in, they told that latest information told that India is one of the largest seafood exporters. Now uh, major destinations where Indian Indian fishes go or Indian uh, marine products go US, Vietnam, US as we have told shrimp, Vietnam, European Union, almost all the countries, Japan and the UAE also China and South Korea is also there see most of these countries are coastal countries like Japan South Korea etc still we are exporting to those countries it's a very very good sign actually so uh, globe fish FAO headquarters of FAO and various conventions or various mandates under FAO you have to read it yourself uh, next one is about Swachiton 1.0 Swachiton 1.0 similar to our hack, uh, smart India hackathon which was asked last year in UPSC. So uh, what it is, it is actually a crowdfunding, idea crowdfunding competition. Wherever we have this throne, that means there is there is a competition, there is a competition conducted by any of the apex in, uh, organization, it can be any state government, it can be Indian government or any particular union ministry. So Swachitan 1.0 is one such kind of a thing where young innovators of the country will be invited why because many challenges will be put forward to them they need to find the solution innovative creative very sustainable solutions will be selected to give the prize so that is what it is the first such bharat hackathon organized by ministry of drinking water and sanitation so that is a ministry here we are talking about ministry of drinking water and sanitation and it is the first such bharat hackathon see Swachathon, cleanliness such bharat so why to crowdsource solutions to some of the sanitation and hygiene challenges now what are the challenges there are six major challenges that will be given to them all those invitees triggering behavior uh, monitoring usage of toilets triggering the behavior change toilet technologies in different terrains like hilly areas desert areas etc working solutions for maintenance and operations of school toilets see it is concentrating on the basic primary level so school toilets technological solution for safe di disposal of menstrual waste that is also a concern actually because we have a lot of uh, these kind of issues where uh, you know we have seen the uh, we have seen that um, uh, eye bleed campaign in that we had such kind of practices should be followed to use napkins and all those for menstrual uh, you know uh, cycles so solution for early decomposition of facial matter so these are the challenges uh, that will be given to those invitees now invitees will include innovators from schools, school childs, children, college students, institutions will be there, who uh, NGOs will be there and other institutions, government institutions as well and the startups and others. So it is a very pan India, very uh, very big comprehensive competition from invitees will be selected from uh, or uh, invited from different areas, schools, from schools to you know NGOs and other governmental organizations. Six challenges will be given to which we need innovative solution so that is what the whole concept is about so Swachithon 1.0 the ministry of DWS drinking water and sanitation and it is the first Swachh Bharat hackathon mission um, so learn the challenges statement may come which are the following are the challenges which will be given to Swachithon uh, uh, 1.0 so these are the things we need to have a good idea about so again I'm ending up here see you next time study will have a nice day thank you